Yeah, at 65 also, you are looking at Social Security strategies or at maybe as early as 62. Let's bring in Kendall Smith uh, to kind of break down Social Security options. Thanks, Joe, and welcome, Kendall. How are you doing? Good, how are you? So Social Security, that's an important uh, decision to be made. Uh, for a lot of people, it's, it's, it's a lot of their income, in some cases the majority, in some cases all their income. But let's talk about a few things you need to know about Social Security. First of all, how do you qualify? You need to work a certain amount of years. Yeah, so there's a couple ways to qualify. Uh, main one, if you work uh, at least 40 quarters is what you have to earn, which basically equates to about 10 years worth of, worth of income to, to qualify. Or you can be married to somebody who qualifies. Got it, and then so a quarter. So, so 10, 10 years, 40 quarters, and then you can qualify. And then uh, once you qualify, at what ages can you start collecting? Yeah, you could take it as early as age 62. It's called an early retirement benefit. You could take it at your full retirement age, which is somewhere between 66 and 67, depending on what year you were born. Or you could take delayed retirement credit at age 70. So it's a really important decision. Yes. It's one of those decisions you make one time, and then you're kind of stuck with it the rest of your life. So it's important. Well, and interesting, I think some people, when we say that, they think they have to take it at 62 or 66 or 70. You can actually take it at any point. That's true. Every month you wait, it becomes a higher benefit. So l let's go over an example of someone that could uh, uh, collect their benefit maybe at age 62 versus uh, this year, 66 in two months, all the way to age 70. If you take it early, uh, it's $1,500 per month. If, you, if they took it at their full retirement age of 66 and two months, it's 2,027. Or if you delay, you get an increased benefit of $2,640. So let's chat about, so who should be taking early? Who should be waiting? Yeah, so I think uh, um, a lot of people do like to take it early because they're like, hey, it's free money, I wanna get it now, sure. I, I wanna use it. But that isn't always the best long-term strategy. And so in general, the longer you wait, the more you get out of the system over time. Um, and so Social Security, the way I look at it a lot of times, it's like lo longevity insurance, is that if you live too long, your, your, your income is gonna, gonna be higher. And I do talk to a lot of people, I, I think there are some good reasons to take it early. Uh, one is if you need the money. You yeah, need the if cash you need flow. it, then take it. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, if you have to pay the mortgage, pay the rent, like you, you have to take it. Uh, another reason to take it early could be if there is a health issue. If you don't have longevity, then it might make sense to take it earlier rather than later. And, and I guess a lot of people want to know the break-even point, so would that be probably around 80, give or take, something Yeah, like give that. or take, it's around age 80, where you know, re regardless of when you take it, you end up with about the same. So, so, so a lot of times, if, if you think there's longevity, they're going to live past age 80, it would make sense to, de to delay. Got it. So in, so in some cases, your spouse maybe has a higher benefit than you. So let's talk about the spousal benefit, how that works. Yeah, the way it works for a married couple is um, the, um, with the lower earning spouse, they get the higher of their own or half of their spouse's benefit. And so a lot of times if, if there is a difference, um, a lot of times it makes sense for the higher earning spouse to wait as long as possible to get their benefit increase because of what happens eventually down the road when one spouse passes away, one of the social security benefits goes away too. Yeah, so then that's of course a survivor benefit and that, that's a key consideration. Because in some cases, when people retire early, their, their tendency is to want to go ahead and take their Social Security. But if you have two spouses and one has a lower benefit, one has a higher, maybe the one with the higher benefit, maybe you should push that out. Right. Because that becomes the benefit for the survivor, whichever one survives. So I, I think that can be a great strategy. Interesting uh, enough about a, a survivor benefit is uh, it doesn't have to be your own spouse or your most recent spouse. Right. It could be a prior spouse. So how does that work? Yeah, so if, if you're married to somebody for at least 10 years uh, and there's a divorce and you have not remarried, you could actually claim spousal benefits off of your ex-spouse and they don't even have to know about it. Yeah, and, and so sometimes when we tell people that, then they get upset because they don't want their ex-spouse <laughs> claiming the benefits on their earnings record. Now, does that affect you know, the, the benefits of, of, the, of the spouse with the higher income, yeah, our ex-spouse? Yeah, it actually has no effect at all. 
Yeah, okay, so, well that's good to know, yeah. right? So if your ex-spouse is collecting benefits on you, it doesn't impact you right. or your family whatsoever. Exactly. Good, okay, well that's great. Now in some cases people worry about um, Social Security is gonna be running out of money, supposedly, in 2034. There's probably some ways to, to fix that. There, there have been ways to fix that. But one of the things that people have talked about is means testing. So why don't you talk about that? And of course, no one's really suggesting it at the moment, but it's, it's a possibility. Yeah, so what means testing is, basically it says that if you make too much money and you don't necessarily need the Social Security, they can reduce your Social Security if you're above certain income thresholds. So again, that, that's something that that could help fix the funding funding of Social Security down the road. We just don't know when that's going to happen, if it's going to happen, what it's going to look like. Thanks again, Kendall, for the information. And Joe, back to you. Great stuff, guys. Really good stuff. Go to yourmoneyyourwealth.com. Click on our Retirement Readiness Guide. It talks all about taxes, Social Security, Medicare, insurance, everything in between. Go to yourmoneyyourwealth.com. Get ready for retirement with our Retirement Readiness Guide. Are you prepared for retirement? Schedule a free financial assessment with an experienced financial professional right online at purefinancial.com.